Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Chrono Trigger. Today, today we're going back to 12,000 BC because we got the wings of time and that seal ain't gonna stop us anymore. So, with our team, Chrono, Luca and Croc, we're gonna jump into the wings of time and go straight back to 12,000 BC. Then when we're there, we gotta find a way to go back up there because this thing only goes to that time. It does not grant us access to seal directly. Well, I think once we get on the land, I'm sure we can find a way up there. Ah, this is the actual cave where it was sealed. So we're pretty close. Okay, so we saw this last time here. But we couldn't do here anything here, so this was the first thing that came up to my mind when I thought about it as a, a place where you wanted to go and check out. So, and there it is. Because the last time we were here, there was no stairs. This was just a cave, and you could see the opening on top, but you couldn't get there. So yeah, it was so suspicious. Ah, this is a village of the Earthbound. This is Algeti, the village of the Earthbound. We Earthbound ones were banished from Zeal because we are possessed of no magical talents. Yeah, you basically are the normal people. <laughs> Many inhabitants of this land were taken to build the Ocean Palace and none were ever seen again. Yeah, the Ocean Palace needs feeding. Might I introduce some goods? Hell yeah. Ah, oh, new weapons! But look at the amount, the prices, Jesus Christ. This is a decent uh, increase, isn't it? So, we got 30k on funds. We need... That's just... Honestly, we need... 25... 50, 17. That's good, only one person needs a rope. Three of these. Damn, I think if I get around to 100k, it isn't even enough. That's gonna be a lot of money, isn't it? Alright, so for now, uh, I think we should just focus on enhancing the main party we have right now. That means uh, Chrono, Luca and Frog. And especially seeing if we can enhance the defense power of Frog. Because he's lacking a bit behind compared to Luca and Chrono. So let's buy at least one Radiant Plate. And uh, what will we do with Hammers? Uh, I am... Reluctant to get the Radiant Blade because the Mazamune has the critical hit rate because of the accessory. So if we get at least half the time a critical hit, it will be better than what the Radiant Blade can do. So we can put this on the back burner. So the other two we would like is the Mega Blaster and the Zamato. And the Zamato is like over 10 power of uh, strength added to Chrono. So I'm gonna choose to get the Zamato. And if we can get some extra catch, a little bit extra, we can buy the Mega Blaster. Just to get things done. After that, everything else is just gonna be gravy. So let's uh, equip that. I'm hoping we're all gonna get to a new place where we can fight enemies and uh, grind up some cash. The Queen has installed the Mimma machine in the Ocean Palace in an attempt to absorb Lavos' energy. But there is no peril in such a thing. The Guru of Life said as much, but it only led her to imprison him upon the Mountain of Woe. I fear there's little we can do. The Guru of Life said that young Lord Janus possesses power with him exceeding even that of Lady Scala. But then the Queen lost her mind and the young Lord grew to hate that power and all the suffering it caused Lady Scala. Now he hides it, denies it and shuts it from its thoughts. 
Ah, so giving more weight to the very ominous saying he said that uh, something bad is going to happen. When will Widi Sawa come and play with us again? Now you start talking like a normal person, so yeah. No, oh, the three gurus and Lady Scala are near the only ones who do not treat us as inferior. Yeah, because they are normal people, not little shits like the Queen. The map bear then is dangerous. You shouldn't play around there. Alright. You like to rest every night. No, I'm still full, so that's not necessary, but thank you. Uh, in times past, the enlightened ones and we earthbound ones lived as one. Like it should. Just because they have magical power doesn't make them any better. This tunnel connects to a mud beast den. And beyond, the mountain of the den lies the great chain that anchors the mountain of woe to the earth. The Guru of Life voiced opposition to the Queen's plan, and so was banished to the Mountain of Woe. Right. I feel that the game is steering us uh, to go toward the Mountain of Woe and save the Guru of Life. So let's do that. Strength capsule. Yeah, and with all the capsules we've been getting, uh, if you look at the stats of Chrono, you can see that his strength is now the biggest one of the entire party. So now he's our power beast. Okay, so these are standard mud beasts. Look like physical damage. Ooh. Uh, we need to kill them quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Before he attacks. Thank you. 32 in base form. Can you imagine uh, doing that with enhanced uh, attack power? Yeah, I think this is one of those enemies where you just need to uh, take them down as quickly as possible before they can do any real harm. Yeah. Well, if that also translates into a boss fight down here, then we need to be really careful. It could be that uh, physical attacks increases the attack power, and maybe magic attack lowers it, so... If we get another attack, we might need to test it out. Alright, let's test it out. Great damage. Also increase. <laughs> okay, so any anything we do increases the strength. So, do you want to just to maximize our damage capacity then? Notice 10 TP for a fight here. That's a third of what we get from a new, so that's actually quite a lot. Very happy with that. Ooh, elemental. You're not getting through here. Ooh, boss fight. Alright, I see fire and water, just based upon the colors. Let's see what every magic does. Is everything... Uh, water to all enemies. No, let's do specific on the red one. Yeah, let's magic them to that. And I think with the fire and water we need to be very specific or else we're gonna heal the other one. I, I assume, I assume, but... They are, if they are elemental, and it does seem that way. We do need to be very careful about that. And of course, as always, we're going to be very careful that uh, our party stays nicely up and healed. 
so we don't die from the onslaught of attacks. But we're gonna do this in like a very magical oriented attack. Going up for the all out power buff attacks with the lightning too. And of course, uh, Luca and Frog with the specific elementals, unless there is a need of healing. Which we could also use a uh, potion for if needed. If we keep this up, we should be able to uh, out damage any heals the character can do. Besides, it's a little. I wanna call it a troll, but I don't think that is what it is. He will just heal himself, and that's all it is to it, isn't it? Cause come on, he's an enemy, a mob. He doesn't have any honor. Uh, okay, careful. Where are all focus on Chrono? Come on! Ah, oh, that shit. Yeah, I was expecting that. Oh, I took too many risk with this uh, AP, so... Let's just heal him up. We just have to uh, get through this first one. Ah, oh, come on, don't go off to Luca now. Give me a chance to get my healings out. I'm starting to think they are countering my attacks and that's why they're doing so much extra damage. Because having this, these two attacks so far back to back, that's just insane. But we should be pretty close to uh, getting them down. Oh god, I don't have, ma I don't have magic anymore. Um... Yeah, that's definitely a counter. Counter confirmed. Having said that, we do have an accessory that will allow Chrono to use approximately 50% chance of countering an attack. Is this something we would like to be equipping ourselves with? But I did say last time that we will lose a little bit of control with who we attack, but so far we haven't got a lot of negative uh, effects from uh, attacking enemies. There is the occasional counter, which will also be here probably. I hate that double attack because of uh, hitting everyone. Uh, focus for a little bit on individual attacks. That way they will only counter one and then an official attack against them. And right now I'm just basically trying to uh, keep one person alive by healing them. But uh, we all know, once we have uh, one of them down, the fight is over, then we would have won. There it goes. <laughs> And doesn't do a lot of damage. Ah, so directly attacking him forces him to heal himself. Alright.
Yeah, we just want to take out the beast, but of course, when the beast is down, <laughs> that little guy has absolutely no uh, chance against us. Even if he is forcing himself uh, to heal every single time. And I do think that if the Mountain of Woe is like a dungeon, I would probably use it to grind a few levels out there and maybe a nice little chunk of cash. It would be very great if we can buy the entire shop here before uh, completing the Mountain of Woe and in the process level up our characters to a point that uh, we can handle ourselves. Maybe we need, do need to change uh, up to magic because he's now uh, basically out healing him. <laughs> Just to counter it a little bit. And uh, napalm. So not using Napalm, maybe just focus on using combo attacks. And of course because he's healing so much, he doesn't have a lot of HP. And there he goes down again. Alright, on to the chain and on to the Mountain of Woe. Sounds a bit windy up here, to be honest. Uh, let's see, let's heal a bit. <laughs> Omni lock. Oh, that's fine. Let's kick the crap out of it. Vision turn. If he's by himself, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, thousand experience. Huh? 100 TP! Holy shit, that's that's a buttload. Is this a place where we're gonna max out all our skills? Okay, let us see what the other enemies uh, are giving us. But at this time, it already feels like this would be a great place to uh, grind out a few levels. I didn't even look at how much cash the enemy actually gave us. That's also a little bit uh, on par, like two or three hundred uh, gold. Then it's a certain we're gonna grind here. <laughs> oh yeah, that <laughs> definitely. Alright, so we found a spot of where we're gonna spend a little bit of time. Getting the, all the cash uh, we need in order to buy the entire store. And in the process, maybe also learn all skills. And if that's what's happening, uh, if at some point we've learned all the skills, I will probably change up the part a little bit so the other members can also start uh, learning new skills as well. Platinum Helm. Ooh, that sounds better than what we got in the store. Not tax, equipment. Nice. Or maybe that is what was uh, being sold at the store. Either way, it's a new piece of equipment, better stats, so I'm not saying no to any of that. My question still remains, uh, if we have enough money to buy everything, which does look like that's what we're going to do, do we want to find a new weapon for Frog or want to keep the Mazamuna? I'm very inclined that for a power increase of not even 10 points, I want to keep the Mazamuna for now. If we, after that, get another weapon that is like 15 to 20 uh, power higher, 
I think then it would be worth uh, changing it. get a chance to attack itself if it's so powerful that it will destroy us seeing as the high evade rate this uh turning off all our skills what the hell come on what's going on it didn't happen before does explain this high tp rate but if he's allowed to be able to run, then I can imagine uh, giving that much TP because you just need to defeat him before time uh, runs out. Still very much worth it. Gives us a chance to use our shoppers. Alright, so we explore a little bit more, shall we call it here. Now you know what? I think I'm gonna call it here. Because it could be that a little bit further ahead we're gonna be where the guru of life is. And I don't know if by interacting with him we can still go back to the store to buy all the stuff that we want so uh, i'm gonna leave it here in between this episode and the next one uh, i'm gonna grind a little bit at least until we have enough cash to buy out the entire store level doesn't really matter to me i think we are where we need to be but anything else will just be gravy skills wise also very interesting because we are in the area that we are about to learn uh, Luminaire and something tells me we do not have a lot of extra moves after that so it could be wise just to let everybody learn especially Isla because she only is at charm so yeah we're gonna have a look into that so next time we're gonna find the guru of life and see if he can help us get back up to zeal by uh, activating the portal once again but that's gonna be next time until then i wish you all a great night morning day wherever you are hope to see you then bye bye